Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can view the photo of the person who sent you an email. Uh, when you check an email, you realize of someone who sent you an email, but sometimes it's kind of too small to view um, a high resolution photo. For example, when I click on this email, you realize I have a picture of the person who sent me the email and I can try to right click and say, maybe open image in a new tab. I'm using a computer. So I think on, a, on an app, it may be a bit tricky, but on a computer it's kind of uh, easier. So when you click on open new image, you realize to open an image, but unfortunately the image is very tiny kind of see the person who sent you an email, okay? So we're going to see how you can view this picture in high resolution, in bigger dimensions so that you can easily know the person who sent, okay? So my name is Brian and this is my YouTube. And if you have some time, you can give me a subscription. I really appreciate it. So let's go back to, I click on the user, okay? Uh, the person who sent me an email is called Roth. Okay, let me click on open new tab. It's much easier if I'm using I'm using Mozilla Firefox to do this. Uh, it may be different on different browsers, but I think as long as you can open this image in a new tab, after opening this image in a new tab, you look in your browser and look for the last part which says S something like this one showing s40 okay sometimes it may show s60 depending on the picture but in most cases it's always s40 something dash p or dash something so you look at the end of the you look at the end of the of the link and you kind of change 40 to maybe 960. so instead of 40 i'm going to do 960. let me just enter so when you enter, you realize you can view a big picture of the person who sent you an email. So that's how you view a large high resolution picture of someone who sent you an email, okay? If you want something bigger than this, you can just edit here. S, then I can add something like one, four, maybe six or something like that. Then if there's a big picture, which Gmail captured, if the person who, if the send of the, if the sender uploaded a big picture, the dimension and dimension will be loaded. But if it if it didn't upload the bigger picture, you'll be this is the maximum you have. So even if I change this one to four sixty, as long as uh that is the biggest one, that will be what will be loaded. So that's how you load an image of the person who sent you an image. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.